Hi everyone, this is crispy1001 at keepecosoft.com. This is our 14th video on how to use Blender and the Blender 2 FSX add-on to make models for Flight Simulator 10. Um, so, remember this is um, remaking video 9 through 12. This would be like a part B of that. So, where we left off last time, we just re reshaped um, our instrument panel. We built our control housing, or housing housing for our control um, cables for our surfaces. Set up an area to make and hold the yoke, or for the yoke. So let's make sure we go down. Hit initialize tool set. Hit zoom in. Go orthographical view. I'm positioning my 3D cursor at the point where I want to add my next point for this model. I do not want to be in um, um, edit mode, which I am right now, so make sure you're not in edit mode. Go into object mode. I'm now going to hit shift A. I'm going to add a UV sphere. I'm going to go to our tool window on the right side. I'm going to change segments to 8, rings to 8. I'm going to hit S for size. Some. Hit S again to get a finer sizing. About right there. Zoom in. I'm going to hit G and Y. That's good. Okay, I'm going to hit Control A to rescale it back to default. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. Hit A to unselect all the vertices. Scroll out a little bit. I'm now going to do a box select. Select the top vertices. I'm going to hit E to extrude in the Z axis. Put it about right there. I'm going to zoom out now so I can see. Hit E to extrude, pull it up to about uh, about that height right there. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I'm going to hit extrude one more time. I'm just going to extrude just a little bit, pull it up. I'm going to hit extrude one more time, pull it up about that amount. I'm going to hit S to size, pull it out, E to extrude, to about right there, extrude just a little bit, extrude about that much, and then S to size about right there. So it's going to look something like that. Hit A to select. Let's go to a top view. Okay, we're going to have to do moving. Okay, I do not want to move it in edit mode because I'll move my um, center position. So hit tab. If you do that, it'll set your origin. It'll move your object away from your origin. Your origin will no longer be, well, where it's at right now. And right now, our origin is about in the center where we want it to be. So we're going to hit, make sure you're in object mode. Hit G to grab. And in the X axis. OK, 
Okay, we are a little wide, so we're going to have to rescale it again. Okay, that's good. Okay, so in object mode, let's hit S to size. Scroll it down a little bit to about right there. Zoom in. Okay, that's good. Let's not forget, hit Control A to reset the scaling. Let's rotate. Rotate out. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see. Our seat would probably be about like that. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Okay, should be about right there. Okay, so that's good. So we have the yoke. Let's make sure to name it. So we will say control yoke. So we have that one named. Let's go ahead and set up the pivot points that we're going to use for our animations now. So let's scroll in. We have our 3D cursor about in the same spot. That's good. So let's hit, actually we're going to have to move it again because we're off center. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into edit mode. We're going to click the lower vertice. We're going to hit shift S. We're going to um, cursor, um, let's see, s cursor to selected. So click that one. That moves our 3D cursor to that vertice. That's good. So we can hit tab to go out of edit mode. Go back into left orthographic view. Now let's hit shift A. We're going to go to cube. We have to go out some because we're really big right now. Let's go S to scale. Zoom it in about right there. Let's zoom in. Let's make sure to hit control A to fix our scaling. Now before we move or do anything, let's go ahead and name this. We are going to name this one. <coughs> let's see. Um, Let's name it um, yoke or yoke elevator control. Yeah, yoke elevator control. Oops, but yoke wrong. Okay, yoke elevator control. We're going to do a, um, well, let's go ahead and go down on our properties window here. Let's turn on x-ray for that object. We're going to do a shift D. Hit, X, or hit enter to keep it in its location and hit S to scale. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. Hit OK. Then let's do another control A and scale, the fixed scale. This one we're going to call yoke aileron control. Okay, that's good. Now let's go back. Let's see, where are those? Yoke, 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 yoke. There we are. Okay, so we're going to click on the yoke elevator control we're going to go over to our left toolbar. Let's go ahead and initialize the tool set once more. Now let's go under FSX Animation Tool. Right here in the search, we're going to type in elevator. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Okay, 
there we go, elevator. We're going to click on elevator percent key and assign. We go to our right toolbar properties window. You should see animation tag elevator percent key. Now let's click on the yoke aileron control. Now we're on this one. Let's go back over to our left toolbar. Type in aileron. Scroll up. And I'm going to set it to left aileron percent key. Hit assign. Scroll over, make sure it's changed. Left aileron percent key, that is good. Okay, now we are going to parent them. So make sure that your yoke aileron um, control is selected. Then hold down the shift and select your yoke elevator control. Move your mouse over in the 3D workspace and hit control P and set to object. So now if you open up your yoke elevator control, you will see that your yoke aileron control is parented to it. And we're going to scroll all the way up. Where's our yoke? Or control yoke, control yoke. There it is. So in the tree view, click control yoke to select it. Scroll all the way down and select yoke aileron control by a shift and select. Then hit control P set object. Now if you click underneath that, now you can see that our yoke, our control yoke is select or parented to the yoke aileron control and our yoke aileron control is parented to the yoke elevator control. Then click on the yoke elevator control, go all the way up and right or shift and click body and then parent that to that and select. Okay, so we have all of our parenting or our tree structure set up correctly now. So that is good. Let's go ahead and set up our animation for it. So let's go all the way down. Let's click on the yoke elevator control. And starting off, let's make sure that our animation is at set to zero, starting. And for the animations for FSX, the elevator in the beginning or zero frame is in a full down position. So that would mean we need to move our control yoke forward. So we're going to hit, make sure that you have your yoke elevator control selected. Hit rotate. X and a minus and let's do 20 degrees and enter. Let's hit I and place a keyframe for rotation. Let's change our animation to 50. We now want to bring our stick back to neutral. So rotate X and we want to just do 20. Enter hit I and set a keyframe for rotation. Want to move our animation to 100. Hit enter. R for, a, I am R for rotate, X for X axis, and another 20 and enter. I and rotation. Okay, so we just set up our animation for our control yoke for the elevator control. Set our animation back to zero. I need to see how much time I have left on this video, so bear with me. Okay, I'm at about my 15 minute mark, so I think we're going to end the video at this point. So we've set up our animation. The next thing we will do on the next video, which will be video 15, we will model our. Um, oh, yeah, we'll model our rudder pedals and set up the animation for them. 
So I hope you enjoyed and I hope uh, this video, and I hope you learned something from it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next video. Thank you.